Oh. Man. All right. Uh, just got out of class. I'm, we're still working with the budget webcam, built in webcam for now because I didn't get the hub. Yeah, I'll get that up soon, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna be watching this get a webcam for too long. We're gonna continue this Admiralo Island. Uh, what did I, what did I recently discover? So, a bit of some, a little bit of tidbits. I'm gonna take about a minute. Um, y'all, I learned that I have a lot of work to do when it comes to how I read, like my level of reading and everything. I watched some shit called Nanashi. Um, I saw her video from the Visual Novel Reddit, and y'all, like, she's on another level, like, with voice acting and all types. I'm not trying to say I'm trying to be someone someone else, but, like, seeing her, seeing Newton's videos, and a few of the other people on the VN Reddit, I have a lot to learn with this, so. She was like, she sounded like she's like 13, y'all, for real. She said like she's 13, 13 years old. I'm like, man, even this 13 year old, you're out schooling me on the reading. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm if I just don't have the the natural voice, whatever. But we'll see. I mean, to be honest, I've only been doing this a couple weeks now, so I gotta learn some SEO and all types of stuff. But let's get this Admiral Island going. Uh, so basically, we, in the last part we were introduced to. Uh, cast of characters, like some more characters, things got more interesting and more entertaining than Aunt Kelly, insecure about her age and stuff, so, let's continue this, I don't want to go to the animal barn after what happened with that rooster, y'all remember, if y'all just, y'all watching this next part, y'all remember what happened with that rooster, I'm good, I'm good on that, so let's go to the food stuff. Actually, do you want to get something to eat? Okay. I'm pretty hungry, actually. Do you want to walk around and see what they have? Let's do that. Okay, I guess this is the... Um, you know, strolling around BGM. Like, you're just walking with your friends, just chilling. Together we head toward the roads of food stalls. My nose tells me we're close. We're close before we even arrive. Scents of fried food, the salty sweet tang of kettle corn, and something else spicy that I can't identify. She sounds like a white chick right there. <laughs> the bane of white people's spicy food. Several of the stalls serve standard fair food. Uh, elephant, okay, elephant ears? Eliminate corn dogs, deep fried things that shouldn't be deep fried, but an almost equal number of them have handmade banners with signage. Signage, my bad, y'all. Signage to indicate they're all local establishment. That they're all local establishment. Elephant ears, actual elephant ears. I hope not. Also, it's kind of funny. It's, like it's a very American cultural thing. So, like when you go to these festivals, especially if it's out in the boonies somewhere, which technically this is, being on an island, um, you'll find crazy fried foods and hella unhealthy stuff. Like we have the here in Vegas. Well, I'm not in Vegas, but here in the United States, we have uh, the deep fried diner. They have the heart attack diner in Las Vegas, where it's actual snack six patties on top of each other and they actually say if you get a heart attack in here you actually go to the hospital or even die we're not responsible look it up the food selection is more varied than i thought it would be including everything from moroccan to yakisoba to pierogi y'all that's a hella culture uh food festival for some boom town shoot like we have the seattle international food fest the National Food Fest here in Seattle. That's the type of stuff we had. You know what I'm saying? He least leads the way, nimbly dodging out of the way of the crowds. Although I can't help noticing one or two nodding in her direction respectfully. Is she in the mafia or something? I don't know. <laughs> we reached the far end of one 
aisle where a cluster of half a dozen food trucks have parked on the pavement outside the park. That's a lot of trucks. For a small fair. Okay, I'm starting to see the, uh... I'm starting to see, uh... Admiral Island do his little thing, which is best. I wasn't expecting that one. Maybe since this is an island, like, if you think about this on a realistic term, people love to go to, uh, like, islands and all that stuff. Like, a lot of tourists like to go to, you know, obscure. Because I, if this was a real place, this would be like the, I forget what you call it. Like, here in Washington State, we have some islands off on the coast. And, like, a lot of people like to go out there and just trip and chill. It's like, you're off the Pacific Ocean, you know, it's like a tourist thing. So, actually, now that I think about it, it's probably a bit more culturally ingrained than I thought. It's not like it's Kansas or something. No offense to people living in Kansas, but it's keeping it real. Y'all know what I mean. Let's see. Gyros, man. What about shrimp? Let's get some dessert. Shoot. Life is too short to life. Ooh, typo, y'all. Life is too short to live by anyone else's rules, no matter who might disapprove, I guess. Mm, when you're a teenager, that could be dangerous. Right, let's skip dinner and go straight to dessert. We make our way over to the area with the food trucks and join up with the line for the bright red truck with the desserts. I could eat every dessert at this vessel, but I'll stop at only one. Okay. After a while, we step away from the truck and find some benches further away from the crowd with our food in hand. Elise dabbed at some whipped cream at the corner of her mouth. I see you stuff in your face. I'm not too busy eating to respond. All right, y'all, have some manners now. <laughs> Just because you in the country don't mean you got to eat. <laughs> Just because you in the country don't mean you got to eat like a country pumpkin. Did the person running that food truck know you? Come to think of it, it seems like almost everyone here knows you, Elise. What do you mean? Everyone nods at you. The person at the food stall nodded at you. Some people we passed nodded at you. I mean, she's been living here all her life. I can only imagine she knows some people. I mean, that, you'd have to be a social DJ to grow up somewhere and not know people in such a an, on an island, y'all. That's probably because uh, my mom is head of the Keys Landing City Council. Uh oh. It's not because I'm anything special. Oh. I helped with the festival a bit. That's probably why most people recognize me. It's actually pretty boring to talk about. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I understand that one. Y'all see how Silver kept it real? She was like, you know, when you say something cool, most of her are like, oh, yeah, that's so cool. And all that and all. Super Council, Silver was just like, okay. <laughs> at least wipes at her hands with a napkin. At least they use napkins. Not sucking their <laughs> licking their fingers. <laughs> Y'all put the Alabama one time. <laughs> I'm about to put Alabama on blast. Look. This is a Royal Mark snippet. Y'all went to Alabama. And because I was living there for a little bit and y'all. Well I went to we went to the IHOP and everybody in there was smacking. Look, y'all don't even want to hear me do that on the mic. Ouch. <laughs> I hurt my tooth. I have a gap in my tooth. But they were smacking, chewing with their mouth wide open, sucking fing sucking their fingers up to them. Like, I was like, are we in the goddamn... Uh, or did these people grow up in the woods or something? E eating like doggone wolves. <laughs> I mean, serious. That, that blew my dog on mine, y'all. I remember we were at the hotels there, and y'all, they would go to breakfast. 
first thing in the morning. These people in Alabama could eat. With, and look, they would go show up to breakfast with no shoes on. I'm not making it up. I'm not stereotyping. I saw it with my own two eyes. In the waffle machine, like where you bake the waffles and the pancakes, where, where the bacon was, y'all, the line was, they had to, this wasn't even that big of a hotel, but the line was, like every person standing at that hotel was ready to smash. It blew me, blew me away. Well, that, that was a snippet for you. Alabama. Ugh, we gotta go to the animal barn. Alright. Elise and I wonder, wander our way out to the edge of the festival, following signs showing the way to the animal barn. The barn turns out to be a series of canopy tents to keep the animals sheltered and out of the sun during the day. However, someone has painting a plywood, painted a plywood barn front to attach the door of the central tent. We step under the cover. We step, we step under the cover of the barn to find several rows of display, several rows of displays of small animals like chickens and rabbits to one side, and larger pens to the other side for animals like sheep and goats. Reading out loud is actually a bit of a task, y'all. For one, surprisingly, it uses more energy than you think. Two, you read it. I'm so used to reading it in my head, like most of us are. But when you read out loud, your like your mind process it, process it, processes it so fast. But your mouth hasn't gotten there yet. So I'll see maybe displays, but my mind is thinking displaying because I'm trying to read read it before I get to it, so I can say it clearly. It's a whole another level. It's actually kind of interesting to develop this skill. Anyways, continue. <laughs> I feel momentarily overwhelmed by cuteness and can't decide which I want to look at first. Up oh, there's Rosemary. I saw her character art before the game she releases demo. I was like, oh no, I saw it when she released it. I saw it on her little flyer. I was like, I like this character. He has a bird cage on her neck, but no bird in it. Well, I hope there's no bird in it. Someone likes birds in this game. So someone who made this game likes birds. Uh, okay. Hello, Elise. Who is your friend here? Rosemary. I should have guessed you'd be here. Yes. Oh, yes. I am here to see all my cute animal friends, you know. But that does not answer my question. This new person is probably a friend, right? Right? Okay, she's like the... Moe upbeat and y'all I'm not gonna try to do a Moe upbeat voice so forget about it y'all don't want to hear that <laughs> that's a hundred this is silver she's gonna be staying here for the year for the year for the year okay I'm not doing it justice y'all but I can't I'm not mm -mm. <laughs> you y'all better bear with Rosemary's uh <laughs> dialogue during this then you'll be going to school here. Then, wait, then you'll be go okay. It was. I imagine she said it like, "Oh, then you'll be going to school here, or something like that." I think so. Oh, I am new myself, you know. Well, I moved here two years ago. Oh, she's a transplant. No wonder she's so upbeat, and not zombified, y'all. She's. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. If you ever need anything, please do not hesitate to ask me. You know, you know. Okay. We need Nanashi to read this girl. <laughs> this girl's dialogue. I'm actually gonna link uh, Nanashi's channel below for anyone watching this one ever. 2018, 19, or 2020. I don't even know if it's, it might be 2021. Y'all got a hook like 50k subscribers, 100k subscribers, and one of y'all and went back and, and y'all watching this vid. That's gonna be raw. I'd be like, sweet, I actually got to that point. And it's actually some people watching the old stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's when you know you got a fan base. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you. Goodbye. All right. Abruptly, Rosemary turns and leaves the two of us. Y'all see, see how different the transplants are from the natives? Like, the natives, they're, like, loitering about at the festival. Just, like, you know, the usual. Just, oh, let's watch the chickens. Let's chase the rooster. Let's... 
eating stuff. But Rosemary, she came in, said her piece, and kept it moving, y'all. She's on her purpose. Well, that's Rosemary. She's a junior at. Rosemary, don't commit any crimes. What? I do this is panic expression. I turn to see Rosemary preparing to climb over the fence into the pen with the sheep. Never mind about the transplant thing, y'all. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Rosemary immediately steps away from the fence and looks around in feigned innocence. Girl, don't try to climb in with the animals. I just wanted to pet them. Look, they look so fluffy, the giant, like giant clouds, the soft as the clouds. Girl, you can't just jump in the animal fence barn thing. Hey, whatever. And y'all, look, she's the darker skinned character on this island, so I don't know how the authorities are out there, but shoot. They might, I don't know, rush me, be careful with that one. They might rush you with the quickness, girl. At least point at a sign just outside the sheep pen, which clearly says, "Please do not touch or feed the animals." Yeah, y'all, you can't, you, like, you can't be doing that as the darker skin uh, chick at the fair. The cops, they're like, Shh. "Yes, we have a." <laughs> not even gonna go there, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. This isn't fair. The sheep are just lonely. I want someone to pet them, you know. They have a petting zoo. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, God. Look at her eyes. Really, come on. Before you get kicked out of the festival, for sure. For real. He leaves, leaves Rosemary away from the sheep and towards the animal petting area. Rosemary glances back wistfully at the sheep as she leaves. Look up some definitions, y'all. Okay, forget it, cause I'm on campus and hold on. In one minute, y'all. We about to just, we learn words here. It's like I and my VNs. We learn Japanese wistfully with a feeling of vague or regretful long longing wistfully okay he smiled wistfully as he spoke of it also it's like when you long for something like if you're talking about your friend and you long for them and you're talking about them it's like a wistful emotion like you know I kind of miss them or whatever Everyone else in this line is at least a foot shorter than us. God. I don't think the pennings was many people whose age is in the double digits. After a short wait, we're let into the pen. And i like, what are these grown? Baby chicks, baby bunnies, a gray sheep and a white sheep. Oh, Jesus, chicks, y'all, she's about to be in here all night. Any animal within arm's length. Well, that's one crisis averted. Might as well pet a barn animal while we're here, right? Pet the goat. Plenty of y'all. Th Look, the sheep are getting plenty of attention, y'all. I'm saying that's like that's like when you're in the club and then which I'm in I am often every weekend and like the hot dog the blonde chick with the blue eyes and the red dress and it's like a bunch of dudes which all night she's got like 10 attempts of guys trying to talk to her but just like one like frail kind of geekier looking chick but she may not be like in a red dress but she's kind of you know what I'm saying but she's like barely getting approached. Y'all, that's the one I always approach. Let me tell you this one. And this is, y'all, I'm about to give y'all some night game. And I'm about to compare this to this pet thing. You talk to this chick that's getting approached by a bunch of dudes. A, let's say that you even have the game. And in, in the, in the looks. And, you, and you're not dressing corny. And 
and everything, and your charisma's tight. Even if you do, odds are at least two to three other dudes also had a game that night when he talked to that blonde chick in the red dress. So, even if you get past the stage, even if you get the number, when you go on the date, or whatever, follow-up date, unless you're just trying to smash that night, which is highly, highly probably not probable unless you're like P. Diddy with a chick like that. You gotta climb. I call it climbing the gallows. You gotta go on one date, two date, three date. You gotta pass all her shit tests, do the checklist thing. Y'all, it ain't worth it. Or, that's like the sheep. You know, like everybody's petting the sheep. The sheep might be kind of standoffish. It's, it probably won't even appreciate your attention as much because it's always getting pet, just like the chick at the nightclub is always getting attention from the dudes. So, or you can just pet the goat or talk to the, the geekier chick at the other side of the bar and actually have a full conversation that's meaningful. It appreci- she appreciates you more, the goat appreciates you more. Simple. So I'm picking the goat. And y'all stop going out to clubs in polos. No, not polos. In in flannel uh, button, like just normal pol- like polos blue flannel jeans and tennis shoes if you want to stand out i get tired of the guys being like oh how come i didn't stand out at the club stop wearing that corny stuff like wear some wear some new different colors for one purple orange teal i already know what y'all thinking like oh that's too much you know well get get if you dress better you stand out more for one wear some clothes that fit and, and wear some real shoes you know what i'm saying some dread. Don't be afraid to wear some moccasins or some dress shoes or some monk straps. Or then don't be afraid to rock the tie either. All right. The only reason I went on that little bit of a rant there was, you know, help out my homeboys as well as viewing this video. You know what I'm saying? The goat bleats at me. Bleat. As I pet its head. Goats have such weird eyes. Maybe that's why no one is over here. Ooh. Still, the ghost seems to appreciate the attention as I pet the head's head. Aqua, see? Told y'all. Shoot. Rosemary concludes as we step out of the petting area. It was fun. Yeah. Now, don't commit any more crimes, Rosemary. It wouldn't be a crime. It wouldn't be a crime. What wouldn't be a crime? I'm getting a line again. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Man, I don't want to be at this barn all day. Man. <laughs> it's for real. Well, it's getting pretty late. The sky is darkened by now. The peaks of the evening sky are replaced by a deep blue. A smattering of stars dot the sky. I'm wearing some vocabulary today, y'all. Smattering? Smattering. A slight superficial knowledge of a language or object. A small amount of something. A slight super. Okay, so that basically means. What? A. So. I don't get it. A slight superficial knowledge of a language. Oh, okay, so it's like a. I don't think she. Did she use that right there? A uh, modicum is kind of. A synonym, so it's like a little bit, like a, a very small amount of uh, of like rudiments or something, like a smattering of Japanese or something. Or what did it say? I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Uh, like I keep going off like a smattering of stars, so like a touch of stars. I mean, she got, I think modicum or something probably would have been a bit more because. Smattering is a, a slight superficial knowledge of a language or a subject, not necessarily just okay. But I'm look, I'm not gonna give her hell about it. You know, she's be trying to be a bit more unique. Appreciate the vocabulary. I doubt many people would look that up. Yeah, thanks for showing me around. Of course, I'm happy to show around someone who's new to the island. Well, I guess I'll go see if my aunt needs any help. Back to Aunt Kelly, y'all. Uh, there's fireworks later if you want. You can come watch them with us. I'm okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> that was a very Seattle reply. I'll think about it. 
That basically means it's a 10% chance that she's actually going to do it. Elise turns away from me, but after a moment, turns back to face me. Oh, shoot. I had a myth. I was only meeting this uh, dude about... I met this guy with his Lamborghini at... Barnes and Nobles the other day and he wanted to do some business meeting when he learned about my thumbnail making skills y'all that are definitely worth financial uh you know what I'm saying hope you enjoy your year here on Admiral Island um I'm in the after school witches club and you could join that's the first time they actually mentioned the witches club uh hey, hey. Japanese mode, so just got out of the class. I'm not, well, I'm not really good at witchcraft. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's not really cool, I mean, for a city kid like you. It's not what I mean, but I guess that is what I mean. That's okay, it was nice meeting you. I'll see you at school. She didn't give us no details on what they do at that witch's club. That's kind of suspicious. And she's gonna try to throw some shade in there, a city kid like you. I mean, but uh, I'll watch at least as she disappears into the crowd. Back home, I wasn't really involved with any of the after school clubs. Hey, kiddo. Did at least show you around? That reminds me of my aunt, y'all. She saw us and me, kiddo. Yeah. Well, I hope you're ready for fireworks. It's. The closing night spectacular. That's what Elise said. Are there really witches on this island? Hmm. I hope not, y'all. I guess you don't really get witches in the city that much, do you? But here on this island, between land and the water, we seem to get a lot of them. Oh. They're all a good sort, don't worry. But actual real magic? Yep, real witches, real magic. What? Oh, let me see it. I don't have an app to see for it myself, but I know a couple of rooms I can show you. Real magic? Okay, you know, let's take a different turn. Why don't you go? Why don't you go on ahead and pick out a spot to go watch the fireworks? I have a few things to load up onto the truck and I'll come join you. I hope you see your truck about to load that huge slab up back on that truck alone. Girl, you really gonna start showing your age if you start doing work like that every dog on day. Sure, I'll see you in a bit. Uncertain where the best place to watch the fireworks actually is. I follow the crowd as they slowly vacate the festival grounds. I like this shot. Oh, you know, it's my thumbnail right here. Oh, I can find it in the um, folder. The path meanders from the waterfront park through some scrubby grasses along the beach, generally heading upward as it traces the crest of a hill. Oof, I trip on an uneven path and land on my hands and knees. When I stand up, I am somehow alone. There, there were people here just a few seconds ago. What the hell? Even when the, even the wind has died down, and I, all I can hear is waves of the ocean. There it is, y'all, the Loch Ness Monster. About to ask for Tree Fitty, don't give it to him, Silver. I jump as a blue collared shadow stands in front of me. Blue colored, sorry. Colored. Who? What are you? Or like, what are you? Is probably a bit more, she said. The thing doesn't answer me. Instead, it reaches out with a shadowy arm and takes tight hold of my wrist. Y'all, is this about to be turned into a tentacle scene or something? I might need to start. I might just. I might need to censor this, y'all. I can't put this on YouTube with this tentacle monster attacking this underage girl like this. Let go of me. Oh shit! I try to pull my hand away, but this thing's grip is like a vice. Uh oh, y'all. I'm about to get the censor going. I remember the stories my mom used to tell me when I'd stay 
stay out too late. I know, I know your mother. <laughs> Y'all, what kind of mother is that? Like, you stay out too late. The tentacle monster is gonna come violate you. Are you kidding me with this? Y'all, what is... I might need to sense it. Hold on, let me get this screenshot. Type of mom. Oh shit. How do you can you hide the text window? I wanna get the text. Saving the file real quick. Admirala. Okay. I don't want to be kidnapped. I don't want to be spirited away. <laughs> what the hell? Somebody. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay, we have 31 minutes anyway. I'm about to... This I don't know where this is about to go, and I don't, I'll be real, I do not have a good feeling about this at all. You know what I'm saying? This just took a, a turn for the dire, like, for reals. All right, y'all, um, all right, so that was another snippet of Admiral Island, well, episode is getting a little, I think, okay, it's a lot more interesting now. Yeah, I like the characters. Rosemary's uh, ecstatic, to say the least. Um, I don't know what that Loch Ness Monster thing is. I know one thing. I ain't giving that thing no tree fitty. Like, if, it, if a dialogue box pops up, I ain't paying it. I hope we can escape from it. I don't know what's going to happen there. The music is actually really good for, um, for uh, you know, a very indie visual novel. I'm going to post it on uh, the visual novel Reddit for sure when I get done with it. So, you know, give her some, pub some publicity. I'm also going to link Nanashi's channel in my description of this video. Just so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Like, for real, that chick. I don't know how old she is. She got, I would, like, if you told me she was, like, 12 or something, I'd believe it. That's 100. But she's perfect for, like, the, the chick voice actor stuff. But all right, y'all. But to end this part, peace.